Jessica here. I am so excited to be in a new space today because we're doing something brand new that we've never done before on the Blogilates channel. So I've been sharing a lot of my gym workouts with you guys just really casually on Instagram and you guys have wanted a follow along video. So I thought, why not turn this into an actual series? And so we're doing two things really different today, okay? Number one, we're gonna be using some weights, some equipment, but don't worry, if you're at home and you don't have a gym membership, do not worry because I will give you at home options. And then secondly, I'm gonna be putting myself through a workout that I've never done before, that I did not create to see how torturous it is when someone else tells me um, how to do my workout. So we'll be testing out celebrity workouts for this series. And I thought it'd be really cool to kick everything off with Kim Kardashian's actual butt routine. Okay, I found this on Women's Health Magazine and it's created by her very own personal trainer, Melissa Alcantara. And what you're gonna need for this workout if you're going to the gym is a bench, two heavy dumbbells, I have two 20 pound dumbbells, as well as a kettlebell or a heavy weight. And this one is 16 kilograms, which is about 36 pounds. But of course, you guys wanna choose your own weights that work for you. They could be heavier, they could be lighter, as long as it's challenging throughout the entire 15 or so reps that we do. But the last three to five are like, you almost can't barely do it. Like that's when you know you're really getting stronger, okay? So if you're at home, again, you don't need anything. I will show you all the home variations so that we can still do this together because as you guys know, you don't need a gym membership. You just need your willpower and your strength to get through it and you can transform your mind and your body at the same time. Okay, you guys excited? we we'll do something different. Okay, so first move is the walking lunge. We're gonna do 20 reps of these, okay? So what you wanna do is grab your dumbbells, shoulders rolling back right here, and you're going to step forward just like that, making sure the knees are at, are at 90 degree angles and then coming back, whew. And when they're heavy, you really gotta push through the heel of your foot. If you're at home, simply do it without the weight. All right, here we go for 20. In three, two, one, let's do this. We're going down and up, really working the booty here. Oh yeah, and then Kim apparently does this workout two times a week. So a little glimpse into her workout routine. Um, but of course, you guys have to remember that a lot of times people look the way they do because of their genetics as well. And for me, I obviously do not have a Kim Kardashian butt, but I can work as hard as I can to lift a little bit and get stronger in the glutes, right? We are just all working out to be better versions of ourselves every single day. And whatever that looks like, it doesn't matter. It's gonna look different for every single person. Keep your shoulders back. Keep your belly tight. Press through the heel of your foot. Five more, five, and come on, four. And as you can see, it's kind of cardio because it's heavy. And last one, one and up. Okay, good job guys. Now, the next one is your elevated glute bridge. But if you don't have a bench at home, no worries, most of us don't. You can go onto the floor or on your mat or on the carpet and basically you're going to lift up. You can hold a dumbbell right here or something heavy and come back down, okay? Now, if you do have a bench, well this is gonna be really fun. Go ahead and grab one of your dumbbells and you're gonna securely hold it on your hips. So carefully slide yourself down until your shoulders right here under your shoulder blades are on the edge of the bench, okay? So check it out, guys. Hands holding the dumbbell, make sure it's nice and firm. If your hip bones are jutting out and it feels uncomfortable, then go ahead and place a towel here to make it soft, okay? So feet planted in the floor. You're gonna go down and then lift up, squeeze your butt cheeks and hold. And we've got 20 of those. Here we go. We're going down, squeeze, hold and let your head relax, okay? We're not trying to strain the neck here. We are working your butt and your hamstrings. There you go, keeping the chest nice and open, really squeezing the butt right here. And lift, we're going down. Exhale up, 
And now when you're working with weights, you want to take your time. You want to go slow, you're not using momentum. Whew, squeeze right there. Nice guys, keep lifting. And for those of you who are actually at the gym doing this, that's awesome. Hello to all your gym friends. <laughs> squeeze and hold, you got it. Let's go, exhale, lift, squeeze. I want you to go higher every single time. Lift, squeeze, yep. Penny between the butt cheeks, Whew, squeeze. Nice work, guys. Exhale, lift. You got five more. And that's five. Come on. Four, squeeze even higher. Don't get tired. Three. Last couple. Two. And one more. I really want you to hold. One hold. And good. Bring it down. Place that dumbbell down. Okay. Very, very nice, guys. Our next move is the Bulgarian split squat. So if you're at home, just place your foot on a chair that is not rolling around um, or a couch or something that's stable. If you are at the gym, grab your dumbbells and be careful when you're grabbing them. Make sure you always bend down, protect your back. Okay, so check it out. You're gonna place one foot on top of the bench like so, okay? And then you're gonna roll the shoulders back open up the chest, you're gonna come down and lift. So that is one Bulgarian split squat. We've got 12 on each side. Ready, here we go. Going down and up, whoo! Feeling that. And lift, come on. Keeping your eyes forward, keeping your gaze forward. Chest nice and open. Good stuff, now I'm feeling my legs like crazy. We're going down and up. Oh gosh, my butt is on fire. But also, been doing my 100 squats for the day and I did mine this morning and it really hurt. Four more, let's go. Four. Take your time. Three. Two. One more, you guys. Up. Okay, shake it out, you guys. Very, very good. Now, move on to the other side. Remember, you're gonna do four rounds of these. Okay, 12, here we go. Going down and up. Again, standing straight up, eyes gazing forward, chest open, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Nice, you guys. Whoo! Breathing, and as you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but I'm sweating, and we have not done any traditional cardio. You have four more to go. But weights really can make you sweat when you're doing it right, when you're going deep enough. A couple more. Down. Last one. Boom, and up. Woo! You guys. All right, you guys, this next one, the goblet squat. Now, if it looks like I'm out of breath right now, I'm gonna be even more out of breath for this one. So I am going to pick up my kettlebell, and again, you can hold your dumbbell if you want to, but this is really gonna elevate your heart rate. So carefully pick that up. I like to put my leg here and bring it up. So now it's on my chest. Okay, so check this out, guys. With your goblet squat, you're gonna place and come all the way down, elbows touching the knees, and coming right back up. Okay, so in the workout it says to do 12 to 20. So let's go in between, we'll do 15. Okay, here we go. In three, two, let's do this. We're coming down and lift. This really works your booty like crazy. Keep your chest open. Again, shoulders down, back nice and tall and strong. You do not want to hurt your back with this. And every time you lift, squeeze your butt cheeks together, okay? Down and up, Whew. let's go. Lower and lift. This one makes me, oh, this one makes my heart rate rise every single time. This is real. Whew. You're working all the major muscle groups in your lower body. Come on, going down. And you got five more, let's go. Five. Whew. Four, almost there. 
breathe. Last two. One more. We're down and up. Woo! Yes siree, that was intense. Okay, now we head into our glute kickbacks. Now I'm gonna go on the bench here just cause I have it with me, but you can totally do these on the floor. You don't need any equipment. So let me move this over here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, all right you guys, so you're gonna place the hands right underneath the shoulders, making sure that your neck and your spine are in line. You're not doing this, you're not doing this, okay? And again, you can do this on the floor on your yoga mat. So you're gonna lift up for 50, just like this. And yes, 50 each side. Here we go. Boom, and up, in, and up. Nice little squeeze, nice little pinch on top. Really flexing your foot. Up, just like that. You guys, this is a really good workout. I am really liking it. I'm sweating. Um, so, so far, so far, it's getting a thumbs up for me. This is good. Up and down, and down. Now I wanna get back onto the topic of genetics and your body image and how you look and you're comparing yourself to other people. You guys, I don't know how many times I need to tell you this, but we are all made so differently. We are all beautiful in our own unique little ways. And I really do mean that. We all have something different to offer to the world, okay? And you are not defined by your physical body, by your physical shell. You are defined by who you are, the gifts that you're born to give to the world, the talent and the smarts that you have inside you. So when we're working out, it's to enhance all of that. It's not to look a certain way. And though our butts might get bigger after this workout, their arms might look toned after one of my weightless arms workout, that is really all about the journey that you're going through, that progression. How you look is simply a side benefit. How you feel, that's what we're going for. Four more. Four, and three, and two. One more, one. Okay, we're gonna go for 50 on the other side. Shoulders back, and let's do this. Up and down. I have sweat beads literally dripping down my chest right now. This is good. This is very, very good and lift and lower. Now for you guys who are scared to go to the gym, you feel intimidated by all those like men in the weight areas, don't be scared. We are all on our same journeys. And if you think they're judging you, honestly, maybe some people are, maybe some people don't care because they're looking at themselves in the mirror so hard. It doesn't matter. It's about you and the journey that you are going through. Okay, I say throw away all that hesitation, all of those insecurities. No one cares. You are working on yourself. And a story really becomes something magnificent when you are coming from somewhere. You can't be perfect from the beginning. You cannot, no one is perfect from the beginning. And if they are, well, I think it's false. And I also think that we have somewhere to grow. We have a lot of things to learn. Nobody knows everything. So it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to fail. It's okay to be bad at something. It's fine. As long as you keep learning, you keep growing. Here we go. Look at that. A sweat bead just dropped onto the, the bench. I'm very proud of that. Keep going. And down. And lift. And lower. You got five. Come on. Four. Almost there. Three. Two, last one, one, and down. Woo! Okay, that was real. You guys, we're on to our very last move, which is the hamstring curl. Now you can do these on your yoga mat at home or on the bench, it doesn't matter, it's pretty much the same thing. If you want to make this extremely hard, what you can do is grab one of those dumbbells at the gym that are kind of like big wide and circle on top and then place it between your heels as you do the hamstring curls. I cannot do those today with these um, dumbbells because they're a little small and they might slip out of my feet or you can just not use anything at all, okay? All right, you guys, for those of you at home without a bench, you're gonna wanna place your hands like so and place your forehead on top of the hands. 
for those of you at the gym with the bench, go ahead and hold on to it. Now, everything else is the same from here on out. Lift your knees up as high as you can. Get those um, thighs off of the mat, off of the bench. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click your heels together, then you're gonna extend far out and bring it right back in, keeping those knees high. Let's go for 20, here we go. Out and in, and in. Really engaging your butt as you do these. And in, oh gosh, these are intense, even without the dumbbell. As long as you're keeping those knees up nice and high, that's how you're gonna really engage the glutes. Good stuff. Flex the foot hard. Press the heels out. Keep going. And in. Extend. And in. Almost there. Boom. Let's go. Press. Nice, you guys. Now remember, when you're doing these, you're gonna do four rounds of all the moves we just did. Give me three. And two. Last one, one and down. Woo-wee! Okay, well let's see. I am sweating, that was only one round. Let, let's have a seat, let's have a seat and let's review this. Um, well, you guys, that was surely intense. You can see the sweat beads dripping down my neck and that was only one round. Kim Kardashian does four rounds and whether you want to do four in a row, um, right at, one right after the other, or you wanna go through the entire circuit and repeat the whole thing four times, it's up to you. But I'm gonna give this workout a thumbs up. That was hard. And now I gotta go do the other three rounds. You guys, I hope you enjoyed the very first installment of our Cassie Tries Celebrity Workout Series at the gym, but you can also do it at home. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you made it the whole way through. And if you want more of my personal gym workouts, you can head over to my Instagram, at blogalotties, and you can check them out there. Congratulations, we're doing something new, we're keeping it fresh. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Oh, and let me know, what celebrity workout should I try next time? Whatever gets the most votes, I'll do it. Okay, see you later guys, bye. Just keep on doing